The reason I was attracted to George Brown Theatre School was uh, due to its conservatory-style training, uh, solely in acting. I was attending a university where I was receiving a very broad-based theatre program, and it was fantastic, fantastic professors, but I really wanted to dedicate myself solely in theatre getting a very regimented, hardcore theater program. So being surrounded by working professionals and by a great uh, training program such as George Brown's was uh, exactly where I wanted to be. And I particularly chose George Brown Theater School due to its speech program and its uh, instructor. I learned the world of phonetics so I could adapt my voice and learn different dialects such as British, Cockney, Chinese, Japanese, and this has actually booked a lot of my work, such as War Horse, where I speak in a Cockney dialect. There would be no way that I would have booked the role if I, if I wasn't skilled in that dialect. As an actor, I think it's important that you're well-rounded, and I not only work in theater, but I also work in television and film. Another way to play, you have to be more focused. It's like being under a microscope, but to tell you the truth, I, I love being on stage. It's uh, an entirely different feeling. The immediacy with you and your audience is fantastic. I play the role of David Taylor in War Horse, and he is the lead's best friend. So he's Albert Nerikoth's best friend that he encounters during the, his military training. And after training, we find ourselves side by side in the war. And we're constantly pushing ourselves to survive, each other to survive. So it starts from a place of animosity because we don't get along at first. And it builds into a place of friendship near, very near brotherhood actually. The audition process for War Horse was very intense, I would have to say. And looking at the material, I thought, no problem. I could do this. I have the dialect training under my belt. George Brown has prepared me to handle dense texts. I could totally see myself in the role. But I am a person of color, and we're talking about World War I, 1914. Will the powers that be see me as a possible candidate for the role? If you think about it, we're asking our audiences to suspend their disbelief, thinking these puppets are real live horses. So why not have people of color in these roles? And you know what? In the end, I feel personally as an actor of color that it's all about storytelling. If you can convince an audience that you're telling a true, real story, then they will go along for the ride, the journey, and they'll believe in it. And luckily, I think it was probably two or two weeks after I auditioned, I got a call from my agent, and she told me that I booked the role, so I was really happy about it, and I've been working ever since on it.